scooter at the moment, which is about 40 k's south of the New South Wales border. So we're just finishing up our time in Victoria before we head north, but we travelled about an hour and 40 east this morning from Cape Conran Coastal Park, where we said goodbye to Caspar and his lovely girlfriend Jacinta, which is really quite sad, but it was such a beautiful campsite nonetheless. But we're in Mallacoota at the moment. I haven't showered in about four days. Reality of traveling Australia you probably didn't know about. <laughs> but they do offer $6 hot showers in Mallacoota. Or we might just go stay to Caravan Park tonight because we do need to do a little bit of washing. Um, but anyway, for the time being, we're at the Mallacoota boat ramp. It's pretty... Yeah, the place of big setups coming in at the moment. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, jealous. <laughs> <laughs> this one's hanging to buy his tinny, but <laughs> we're thinking maybe like Queensland we might pick up a little tinny. Yeah, need to get a decent trailer for it because we're going to be obviously yeah. towing it a few different spots, spots here and there. So can't have a flimsy trailer that they usually sort of come in. That's come on. So yeah, just going to go have a look down the boat ramp, have a look around at the moment and then find somewhere to stay. So after our little expedition out near the boat ramp there along the rocks, we've decided to book into a caravan park here at Malacuta, at the Malacuta Foreshore Caravan Park, which has just under 700 sites. So it's bloody huge, but they've got sort of half of it um, closed down at the moment because there's not many people kicking about. We've just come down to have a look at our campsite and how convenient is this? I'll show you. So we're camp campsite 48 here and we're down by the boat ramp and the only car the only bloody campsite that has some random spots on it so obviously we don't know whose car whose car that is so we're just gonna be polite and pull up to the next campsite here and hopefully we're not on <laughs> hopefully we're not on someone's campsite um but look at the view Not too stressed about the view really, because we're only going to be here just quickly for one night before we move on to, I think it's Eden tomorrow. So, we'll see what happens, but just park up here, maybe go have a look around at the water and wait until this person moves their car, I guess. What do you reckon, Shell? Yeah, I know, how inconvenient. <laughs> like, that is just our luck. Like, if there's something that Brody and Michelle get unlucky with, it's just people being on our sites. <laughs> I don't know. And we managed to get some bread. Yeah and some cheese and those were cheap so <laughs> treat ourselves that's what i say they're only a dollar but yes anyway typical us to have some randoms parked up on our site but we're too awkward to go and find anyone <laughs> anyway we'll go have a look around and have a look at the boat ramp see what people are catching
Well, good bloody morning to you. And what a day it is. Beautiful. It's glass out this morning. Yeah. Malacuta Inlet on the right there. On the uh, We camped up on the banks of this last night in the uh, caravan park and it's bloody turned it on us. Mm -hmm. Turned it on for us today. Absolutely. It is awesome. Glass out on the water. First decent day of decent weather. I know, we probably should have some sunscreen on today. Yeah, it sort of feels that. The heat coming off the water Gosh. is ridiculous. <laughs> but it is, it's uh, well worth it too. We, that's why we left. <laughs> Get away from the cold weather and into this sort of stuff. We're off to Eden this morning, so it's our last little bit of Victoria. Yes. Before we hit the water. Exactly right. Can't wait to get out of Victoria, I'll tell you that much for free. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> like it's... Oh, when it's like this, is all right. It's beautiful. But yeah, we grabbed a coffee from the Sunday's Cafe, which is yes. a pretty good hot choggy. Yeah, not too bad. It's always a bit of a shit show, if I say so myself, with <laughs> giving my name to like, the oh, coffee people. Yeah. Every it, time. Yeah. There's okay. obviously Charles' name. Rochelle, they always say Michelle or Rachel, other, yeah, other. Raquel. I had a great time in high school. I was called all weird and wonderful things, obviously, <laughs> but thanks to my parents for that. Yes, but anyway, but yeah. so they got it relatively right today. Not so it's not really about how it's spelled, it's about how it's pronounced. Yeah, they pronounced it correctly. So they pronounced it's it all right. <laughs> a bit of a laugh out of it though. Yeah, that's always funny. See what they come up with. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just walking along the foreshore today, and how good are these things here? See these tie-up points? How's that? Like little moorings out the front of your sights. So that, I thought that was a cool thing. So if you want to come down to Malakuta, which is obviously a really well-known place for fishing, we found out along the way. And yeah, it's bloody beautiful. So yeah. <laughs> We're still, getting, we're still getting used to vlogging in public. There's a lot of people around right now. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Everyone looks at you like, are you okay? Yeah, that's craziness. But anyway. Anyway, we're getting our confidence up. Yeah. Slowly. Smash out these uh, coffees and we'll be on the road and see you probably in Eden. into New South Wales woo, 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 woo. <laughs> but like we weren't actually to know that if we didn't have a GPS because there was no like welcome to New South Wales sign yes yeah, so I could see Weird. the welcome to Victoria sign in the revision mirror yeah but no sign into New South Wales what's, what's going, going on there? <laughs> what's going on guys <laughs> not in the budget or something <laughs> but um we're in New South Wales which is super it's exciting fine. yeah heading north yeah so we found a camp that we're gonna check out before we get into Eden though yeah um Shells is all over that. What's that called? It's called like Bidabunga or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a quick look at that. We'll just see if it's even worth staying at. Um, if it's not, we'll just move on to Eden, stay there a night or two, and yeah, see what happens. But yeah, we'll let you know, and I'm sure you'll see. What oh, we, uh... this is one. Oh Here my we go. goodness! We actually have a sign. Uh, look at me. I thought there would have been a sign. It was a bit weird for him not to have a sign.
we ended up not being able to book into the Batangabe campground because it was completely booked out being school holidays and it is Anzac Day long weekend this weekend so today's Wednesday so everything was completely booked out in the National Park so we ended up coming to Eden which is probably about 40 k's north of the National Park and we're in the Garden of Eden caravan park for the next two nights and unfortunately there's no free camps whatsoever around here so it's either caravan parks or in the National Park which the National Park was completely booked so caravan park for two nights and then we're going to head into the National Park into the wilderness retreat for two nights and then we ended up getting two nights at the Batanga Bay on Sunday to Tuesday. So, but for now, we're just cooking up some dinner, classic chicken wraps on the menu tonight with a side of beer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a pretty big sort of unpowered area, the caravan park. You sort of just choose wherever you want to park up, really, but... It's a bloody ripper, actually. Yeah. It has really good amenities. Massive big amenity block. Obviously, you got, like, the kitchen camp camp kitchen and tv mm -hmm. area and stuff up there massive open real green grass you can have fires here as well they sell firewood as well but i decided just to get your own before you get here <laughs> they have fire pits and it's it's really what really nice yeah. well good morning guys it's uh, a bit of a later one this morning which is good got a bit of a sleep in by myself um on our way here yesterday i don't know whether i told you but shell's actually picked up a day's day's work um this year we're doing a little bit different so um shells is going to be working every sort of three to four weeks just for a week for the uh for the mob she was working with before we left which is awesome which will allow us to uh obviously keep on the road a little bit longer which will be beautiful but this morning shells is working she's working away up there she can't see me well she probably can see me but she's not looking over so I'm gonna go and get her a little bit of a treat. I'm gonna go get her a coffee. So I could have cooked one up, but I'll go over to the cafe. There's a cafe just across the road from the caravan park we're staying at. And um, yeah, we'll go get her a coffee and see what she thinks. It's about 10 o'clock, so she's probably looking for a coffee right now. And I'll uh, see what she reckons. Thought I could just give you a little bit of a look around, just the front of this caravan park. Yeah, they got a pretty good setup. So have a look at this, I've got a tennis court, I've got a pool, out the back there is uh, mini golf, chess set, cookers, bloody ripper setup. And then, oh, out the front here too, boat wash. So it's got a bit of bloody everything, they love dogs too, there's a dog wash out the back, um, a few bits and pieces. Supposedly, well, Shell said yesterday when we rocked up, she was looking at the reviews on, um, on wiki camps. And I think if you bring a dog in, they get like a little, um, I don't know, like a little check-in pack. I don't know what it consists of, but that's pretty cool, I thought too. So they must love their pets through, through here as well. There's, oh, actually, there's a bird aviary in there as well. So, yeah, it's a good little spot. But yes, over here, not too far away, as you can see, it doesn't really look like much. But there, it's a little cafe, so... Hopefully we can get a decent coffee. I have secured the goods. Large cappuccino, two sugars, and large hot chocolate, extra chocolate. <laughs> what a ripper day too. And it's the, called the Rusty Plough, I think, which is across the road, and they have heaps of stuff. They have Caesar rolls, they have wraps, they have bloody everything you can nearly think of. All right, we're going up to the camp kitchen now. And it's only sort of just really hit me that the camp kitchen and I've gone and bought her coffee. She might have cooked one up herself by the time my buddy come back with it. But let's see how we go. See how excited she gets. I got you a coffee. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. Yeah, pretty good camp kitchen. There's a kitchen there. Charles working away like a champion. Little TV, little outdoor area, then we, I don't know if you can see us, we're parked right down the back there. Well, this isn't something we usually do, but we've actually 
gone backwards. <laughs> so we're, we probably last time you saw me, we were up at Eden, and the last couple of nights we went back to a place called Weinben. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and we are now in the Bawa National Park, I think it is. So we actually come here a few days before we got to uh, Eden and found out that this place has a couple of really, really good campgrounds. So we've booked in at Batangabe Bay today um, over the long, long weekend, so we've got four nights here. So Charles is filling out our deets now to pay for our uh, National Parks Pass for the few days we're here. So this is what the rates are. So eight bucks per day per vehicle. And, oh, that's just how you sort of pay all your bits and pieces. Um, the exemptions and all that. Or you can get these as well. So you can get your single country park, one year things, the country parks outside the Sydney area, Sydney and beyond, and then all parks. So if you want to do all national parks in New South Wales, 85 for a year or 150 for two years. But the best part about this is what this pay station has an awesome, awesome lookout over the beach that we stayed, well, we stayed near yesterday. So I'd call it the Woinbin Inlet. Um, so it's like a creek or a like, river system that runs into the ocean. But have a look at the view of it. So that's the Woinbin Inlet over there. And this is the, I don't know what, I don't really know what the beach is called, but it's bloody beautiful. Have a look at that. Bloody ripper, ripper lookout. But anyway, we'll uh, do our bits and pieces that we need to do here to uh, do the right thing and uh, we'll make our way to the campground. Well, we've just arrived, just set up, as you can see in the background. Just come to, uh, Berta Ber what the hell is this joint called again? Batangabee Bay. <laughs> Batangabee Bay. That's where we are. Um, and have a look at these sites. They're bloody decent size. So there's, um, yeah, they're obviously very big. They've got their own, um, uh, fire pit area. And, yeah, look at them. Bloody beautiful. But there's only a handful of these. Unfortunately, I think there's how, how many do you reckon are in? Like yeah, five, six maybe. Um, but over the back, over the back past these sites, are a heap of tent sites. Looks like a pretty new sort of campsite area. Um, you got toilets, uh, drop dunnies down over this side, down the hill there. There's a um, picnic area, there's barbecues, and then that drops down into the bay. So we'll go for a bit of a look around there later, I reckon. Um, other than that, we've set set up the bloody mat for the first time on our trip, and this ground. Oh my god! Trying to get trying to get these bloody pegs in. Hard work, without bending them. These people that must have been people before us, but they left they left a heap of pegs just on um on one of the wires here, all bent up, terrible. So I've straightened them out. So that's a couple more pegs for us, which is uh year. Um, <laughs> But other than that, I reckon we'll just sort of, yeah, sit around, take it all in and see what the day brings us. And, must have, UE Boom. <laughs> Best things you can take on your trip if you like music or podcasts or whatever you listen to. But 
sit down with our new table and see what happens. Should probably let you know too if anyone is uh, super into walking or hiking or whatever. This uh, campsite here, Batangavi Bay, is sort of a I don't know if it's like a halfway point or one of the walk in campgrounds as well for the light to light walk or hike that they have around here too. So it's a 30k two day hike from the light uh, from the lighthouse. I don't know what lighthouse it's called, but it goes to the the Green Cape lighthouse on the other side of the uh, national park so um yeah i thought that was a pretty cool thing uh pretty cool walk if anyone's interested um follows the coast along here around from yeah lighthouse to lighthouse and you get to see some beautiful scenery absolutely beautiful scenery of these of this uh, pretty rugged coastline so i'll show you a bit more of what it looks like once i get down here if i can find my way bloody beautiful day out on the water we walk down to the actual bay, the bay bit um, where you can swim and stuff. Just down below the the picnic area and that yesterday, and there was a fella, fella in a kayak coming in with all the all the bloody gear, and um, he said, yeah, there's some pretty good fishing out there. He caught some snapper, uh, a few other bits and pieces. He said he hooked a big. He reckons it was a uh, a kingfish or a tuna. He said he saw some long tail tuna and that out there as well. So. If anyone likes their kayak fishing or something like that, there's no boat ramp here, so just got to launch your uh, kayak or whatever just off the beach. But have a look at this. Hopefully, I can get down, get down there and wet a line, eh? That was the last cast. I pretty much used every lure in the tackle box. Finished up with using this decent sized popper, but no, no luck at all. He's back. How'd you go? Got it, yeah. Good job. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, I took the GoPro 7 and realised that it was flat. So I could only video it on my phone, unfortunately, but I'm sure. Put a couple of clips in. Who says I can't catch anything? Woo -woo. How long do you reckon I was gone for? A while. Yeah, probably three hours of fishing all up today, I reckon, and one salmon, but one fish. I don't care. I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Success. We're just leaving the Tangabee Bay campground this morning after three beautiful nights there. And I tell you what, we've seen some wildlife. Oh. Wildlife, if you like wildlife, come and camp at Batangby Bay for sure. Absolutely. Uh, we saw, we would have seen oh, heaps of stuff. We saw possums came around, and they weren't shy. They came around at night time, scrounging through. So keep all your little scraps and rubbish um, away, probably in your car or straight in the bins that they have there. Um, we saw heap of bird life, and we had a couple of local goannas. Yeah. So they, they came around that much, we named them. <laughs> So the big one we named Big Popper. Which had a was, real fat tummy. <laughs> yeah, real fat tummy, and it was a lot bigger than the other one. And we named the other one Little Lass. But they come out and gave us a visit most or uh, every morning, really. Yeah, they? they came and just sat on the sun on the rocks near our campground and just chilled out. They sort of checked us out a little bit, and we were a bit like, you know. Yeah, we were a edge, bit worried the first the first day. We we're like, bloody hell, is this thing going to attack us? Uh, they're not shy. Like they'll come right up to your campground. So just keep an eye on them and just a nice wide berth around them. Yeah, whenever, well you can usually hear them before you see them anyway because of all the all the dead leaves and that around. All you do is what I did. And I just, when I saw one, I just, if they were coming our way, you just stood up and then they'd be able to see you. 
Um, so and they then they stop. just, yeah, <laughs> and they just did their own thing. I'd say they'd be pretty used to campers and people. Yeah. So, yeah, no real stress. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, we're on our way to Marimbula this morning and we thought we might end our vlog here. So we're going into Marimbula. I'm going to do a week's work and then we're going to head to Mount Kosciuszko and do the big 22k hike. Yes. <laughs> but by the time this vlog airs and you're watching now, we would have already done the hike. So if you see this vlog, it means that we're still alive and we made it up and down Mount Kosciuszko. <laughs> yes. As much as I'm not really looking forward to it because it is super, super long, but it's definitely a bucket list item for us, isn't it? For sure. I think it's something that like, not everyone really gets a chance to do. So we thought we'd do it for you. You can sit back and relax and you can watch us struggle the 22Ks up and down. Yep. And then, uh, then we'll be heading back to the coast. Yes. And then we're, yeah, heading north. So So hopefully the weather stays, stays as good as it has been. It's been absolutely, yes. um, yeah, it's been great. But anyway, thanks heaps for watching guys. We really appreciate you watching. And if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and we'll see you on the top of Mount Kosciuszko. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>